By the power of Google magic, they've managed to transform your beautiful GA4 reports in Looker Studio from this to this. Well, actually more like this. In this video, I'll explain why it's happening and talk about some solutions for solving the issue. Let's jump in. Hello and welcome to Learn BI Online with me, Adam Finer, helping you do more with data and bringing you the latest news in the BI and data space. Wow, Google, you've really done it this time. In one fell swoop, you've managed to destroy thousands upon thousands of reports and dashboards containing GA4 data, which probably represents decades, if not centuries, of combined hours of analysts' work around the globe. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you recently opened up your GA4 reports in Looker Studio and got this error message. Exhausted concurrent request quota. Please send fewer requests concurrently. For example, wait for requests to finish before sending more. Click here to learn more about request quotas or contact Google Analytics support for more information. So let me start by explaining why this error is occurring. If you click on the link in the error message, you get taken to this page, which down here sets out the quota limits when working with the GA4 API. The two rows that are causing the problems are these two here, with the main culprit being the core concurrent requests per property, which is set to 10. A request is simply Looker Studio asking the GA4 API for some data. When you load your report in Looker Studio, a request is sent concurrently for every single widget containing a query, the charts, graphs, and tables. In some cases, more than one request is sent per widget. So if your report contains more than 10 widgets or requests, you'll fall foul of this quota limit. This is probably the majority of dedicated GA4 reports. And even if your report doesn't send 10 or more concurrent requests, you could then fall foul of the second limit of 1,250 core tokens per project, per property, per hour. Each widget query or request also represents a different number of tokens. On this same page, Google explains that tokens are calculated with each request depending on the request's complexity to complete. Most requests will charge 10 or fewer tokens. If you have a dashboard that contains 10 widgets that on average represents 8 tokens each, 80 tokens are used when you simply load the dashboard. Apply a filter control, another 80. So you can see how it might be fairly easy to reach the token limit. As you can imagine, people are up in arms, to use a polite expression, about these new changes to quota limits. There's a lot of anger out there towards Google right now, and it's easy to understand why. One day your reports work fine, and the next they're broken with no easy fix. But what are the fixes suggested by Google, and how practical are they? The first is, please send fewer requests concurrently. For example, wait for requests to finish before sending more. The thing is, there's no way of configuring Looker Studio to send requests contained in reports in batches. So basically, you have to reduce the number of requests to below 10 for any given page of a report. In practical terms, this would mean splitting up the charts in your current dashboard over multiple pages. Not ideal, and kind of defeats the object of a dashboard. If you thought that first suggested fix was bad, just take a look at this troubleshooting guide Google has put together. Reduce the traffic to the report. Consider sharing the report with fewer people and don't embed the report in a high traffic website. They've got to be joking, right? Is this April 1st? Reduce the number of charts on each page. Well, we've just talked about that. This next one actually makes a bit more sense. Extract the Google Analytics 4 data and use the extracted data instead of the Google Analytics 4 data source. So I think they're talking about this connector here that allows you to extract raw data from data sources and store it on Google servers instead of sending requests to the GA4 API. But this connector has limits too. Firstly, you can only store up to 100 megabytes of data, which may sound like a lot, but it quickly adds up, especially if you want to show historical data. Then, and this is not so much of a limit in most cases, the data will only update upon a scheduled automatic refresh. 
the most frequent level of refresh is daily. So if your report viewers are used to seeing constantly updating data, you'll need to manage expectations. The next suggestion is what I think a lot of people will turn to. Export your analytics data to BigQuery, then use the BigQuery connector to visualize that data in Looker Studio. If you click the link, there's an article explaining how to set this up, but for a lot of Looker Studio users, this will be simply way too complicated and probably lead to them finding a new solution for the GA reporting needs. The whole point of Looker Studio is for the most part self-service BI, putting data in the hands of the business user and making analytics and business intelligence accessible to non-technical users. Forcing them to get their hands dirty in BigQuery defeats this point. Another suggestion is to upgrade to Analytics 360. Great, how much is that? Oh, right, next. Finally, consider using a partner connector. At the time of recording, there are currently 33 partner connectors offering Google Analytics data. I haven't tried them all, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that none of them are free. So your existing free reports now, well, aren't. You might be wondering, as I am, what they've been smoking over there at Google to introduce such an update without any prior warning, effectively breaking everyone's GA4 reports. Well, I think that good, or at least better news, is on the way. Just a few hours ago on the Looker Studio help pages, Rick E from Google posted an update on their plans to address the GA4 quota limit issue. Apparently, the plan has two components. Number one, optimizing how Looker Studio retries queries to mitigate the impact of the concurrent requests per property quota limit. Number two, showing you the amount of quota tokens consumed by report components and the amount of tokens remaining for the report so that you can optimize your charts and reports. This work is underway and we will update the community when these improvements are available. Personally, I think we're very far from seeing the end of this story. There will probably be a few more twists, turns and U-turns to come. I'll be sure to keep you updated, so don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you get notified when I post new uploads. If you've got to the end of this video and you still have no idea what I'm talking about or what Looker Studio even is, check out this video here for a 15 minute getting started tutorial, or there's a link in the description to my full five hour course. Thanks for watching, I've been Adam Finer, and I'll see you soon for another video. Until then, stay BI curious.